Well, howdy, howdy there. Short talk in the uh, trailer park mm, on the porch step with an old guy. It's a uh, Tuesday morning, I think. Uh, or I'm going to call that the 9th. Yeah, that's right. The 9th of July. It's almost got to be that right. And just wanted to shoot the breeze with you. You know, tug on your ear, irritate you. Hey, come on in, have a beer. <laughs> I'm not going to give you one. <laughs> it's morning. It's, you know, actually beer is okay for breakfast if you don't have to work. But that's another story. I... Uh, I'm heading into work here a little bit, uh, bit, and I just had some thoughts today, and I thought, well, you know, what do old guys on a park bench talk about anyway? And I thought, well, th it, this might be a sample. I don't know. At 65, one of the things that I think it kind of rises up in my heart, and it sort of assaults me a little bit, and I was kind of bothered this morning. And I was thinking, now, what is it that's bothering me so badly? And I think, you know, kind of praying my way through it. Now, I listened to the uh, Book of Philippians, and... The other book, uh, Philemon, 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 I think that's how you say it. And um, that's the one about an Onesimus. But um, anyway, listen to some scripture today. And I'm, I'm watering green over there. That's the lilac bush. I've just put it on slow trickle and let, let the roots take a big old hearty drink here. And before I bug out, it's going to be up close to 100 again. So uh, anyhow, the, the point is, is that I thought, what, what's bothering this old chap today? Anyhow. And I thought, you know, I think I can trace it through. I'm having to deal with the fact that I really am a mortal. <laughs> you know, one of the things about young guys, is, I, at least I call it, is is that they think they're bulletproof. You know, when you got a, a young guy who's 22 or 24, he'll do some of the stupidest things on the planet, even on a dare. Why? Because he's bulletproof. Nothing can touch the guy. And uh, <laughs> I think I had a lot of uh, that kind of nonsense in my head when I was younger. But anyway, it, it's like, well, I never actually ejected that stuff. It's still in here. <laughs> so I thought, you know, our mortality is a strange thing. And interestingly enough, uh, Philippians, and maybe this helped me reach the contusion, uh, Paul says, I'm torn. I, I don't know which way to go. Uh, to go ahead and be with the Lord Jesus, uh, to pass on, as we say, to die, uh, would be far better for me, personally. <laughs> but... The fact that he, he, Paul, not Mike Labor, but he was interacting with others, he was building the church, he was participating, and he, he was making a very important contribution, which would benefit many, still benefiting people today, to, the, to this hour. So the kingdom is moving on, uh, Paul is preaching, and I, what I'm hearing is this idea of being torn between wanting to look forward to a death, a real death, or a, a life with people to continue to work and in my case do plumbing you know I, I I'm not out evangelizing evangelizing and saving souls I'm fixing plumbing junk <laughs> so I guess that's my mission but but the thing is is that to, to face our own mortality you know the thing is is that everything's gonna die uh, the United States of America she may be on her you know last legs here I, I don't know what's coming up, and whatever we have now, it's not really a, a federal republic at all. It's uh, much closer to an empire, which is in collapse. I, I got that. I stole that idea from Karen Kwiatkowski, and go listen to that lady. Uh, she's an, a very interesting observer. But the point is, is that the the empire is dying. Uh, the the major banks are having real issues. The dollar itself is collapsing. And so what our future looks like, I don't know. <laughs> right now, I've got a couple of grand in the bank, you know. Maybe down the road, I might get a loaf of bread. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. So the thing is, is that this empire is going to die. I, I'm very likely going to die. I mean, at some point. I'm not, you know, making any, uh, you know, uh, death threats or anything like that. But what I mean is to face the fact that we will, in fact, one day be with our parents pushing up daisies and their parents and their parents all the way back. So the, the cure to this whole thing, the deeply unnatural feel of death, it just feels like a stranger. Um, it's being resolved in the gospel. Christ has overcome death once for all. And this central kind of thing of his position and his power and the great deeds he did, in fact, his words even, he says of himself, heaven and earth shall pass away like bye-bye, but his words shall endure forever. So take the word of the Lord in and, and uh, root down, face it, you're going to die. <laughs> 
I don't mean that as a threat. It's just the simple reality. And the, the reality is supposed to spawn in us a faith so that we would fear God and say so. I, Mike Labor, hereby affirm that I fear the living God, Yahweh. <laughs> See, I just said it. But the thing is, is that it, it helps free us up because really what we're counting on is the call from the dead. Remember Lazarus? Hey, Lazarus, get out. He didn't just have a broad claim like, hey, dead dudes, because it was, it was a communal uh, burial place. They just keep throwing bodies in there. Close the door because it stinks. And um, he didn't offer a general, you know, hey, everybody in there, wake up. He, it was No, he called him by name, Lazarus, you wake up. And out he comes in his grave clothes, <laughs> people flipping out. And so Jesus is in the habit of, you know, doing fine things like busting up funerals. <laughs> He walks into that funeral procession, uh, and the poor old widow's carrying on, and he just, just he stop. So he talks to the stiff, says, "Hey, sit up, man." And the guy does, and uh, <laughs> that's just for starters. But he is the life himself, and I have to face death and remember that it was the living one who called me to do that too. <laughs> Good day to you. Have a, a productive Tuesday. Go out there and. Find some clever solution to a problem you probably had not ever considered before. And it won't frustrate you to fix it because you'll be kind of proud. Probably nobody else would have thought of this. You have a good day. Bye-bye.